We've completed our map and are now going to focus on some other presentation capabilities in Manifold GIS. In this lesson, we'll focus on 3D visualization. You should have already had your land cover drawing in your current project. If you don't, load it now and color it appropriately. For my land cover, I'm going to actually change the coordinate system. I imported it and it didn't know what coordinate system it was in because we didn't have a projection file associated. So again, under the Properties and Coordinate System, I'm going to set the current coordinate system to UTM Zone 18 NAD 27. The next thing I want to do is bring in a digital elevation model. We're going to use a USGS DEM. Here I'm just creating a map. So under the File and Import a Surface, let's import a DEM file. It takes a few seconds. It's a fairly large file of about 1.3, 1.5 million pixels. Once the DEM is loaded in the map, we can take a look at it and then drop the component into the map component so it is now in the same component as the land cover. Well, we have a whole bunch of DEM here and very little land cover map. We don't really need all of it. So what I want to do is actually get rid of the DEM where it doesn't intersect the land. If you had surface tools, you could do this automatically using the transform tool, but we're going to assume we don't have any of those tools. So to crop out the DEM, let's deactivate any of the buttons that might interfere with the selection. And now let's select the box around the land cover drawing, making sure the DEM is the active component. When we do it, you'll see that the pixels in the DEM are actually selected. Now in the Transform toolbar, we're going to choose the selected pixels in the DEM. And in the Transform operator, we're going to choose Crop. When you hit Apply, the DEM will be cropped to the area of the selected pixels. In the Project pane, you'll notice there's a component directly below the DEM surface called the Terrain. This represents a 3D visualization. Click on the Terrain to see the visualization. Now there are keys on the keyboard that represent different ways to manipulate the terrain. For instance, using Page Up and Page Down will change the vertical exaggeration like I'm doing here. While the left and right arrow keys allow you to rotate the terrain Up and down arrows allow you to tilt the terrain. Some other keys that are worth noting is the S key that allows you to move back, while the W key allows you to move forward. A allows you to move the terrain to the right, while D allows you to move to the left. Q allows you to zoom out, while E allows you to zoom in. Under the Terrain menu, I'm going to select Surface. And this shows the legend and the vertical exaggeration scale. We can also experiment with different textures. By clicking on the tiles, we can actually extend outward how far the surface we want to see or how far the terrain we want to see. I'm going to turn off the terrain. We're going to continue to use this altitude as a way of shading it. The other thing we can do under terrain is select overlay. And here we're going to check off the land cover drawing. So this is going to overlay the land cover on top of the terrain. So let's zoom out using the S key. Now if you want to speed things up, just hold down the Shift key bar and that actually increases the speed tenfold. So you can experiment with the S key, the A key, the D, and the Q. Remember, S allows you to move back, while W allows you to move forward. The A allows you to move to the right, while the D allows you to move to the left, 
and Q allows you to zoom in and out. Here I'm using the up and down arrow keys to tilt the actual surface. So you can see creating terrains in Manifold GIS is pretty fairly straightforward and easy to do.